What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's episode is gonna be on our off-road rig. We're gonna be installing a bull bar, push bar. It's in that big box. So, stay tuned. <laughs> background working on you know company cars the vip car uh our little car wash we have two businesses now so we're expanding um i haven't really put videos i had to start uploading them of the van uh we got the wheels the wraps we have light setup and um uh, honestly i've had this since february and this video is going up in september so um yeah <laughs> it's been a minute um but it's been, it's been really busy with both businesses and whatnot with shows so we're gonna be putting that push bar and we're gonna unbox it in a minute and uh basically yeah the van is about to be complete um probably the last thing we're gonna do is go put a hitch because we're actually be pulling the lexus to shows but um enough about that let's unbox the bull bar push bar whatever it's called and install in the transit so i opened the box it's um as far as i remember it's been a while so i don't know i i ordered it i'll put the link down below just so you guys have it but basically the bull bar push bar whatever it's gonna come up here and i can have it from here to here type of thing but I can also add this bottom piece that protects it from this side too. I think I'm going to do that and make it look more aggressive. And then I believe, I have to double check, but I can mount more lights. I don't know if you can tell, but I like lights. I have those pod lights. I have that video coming out soon. That video coming out soon also. And the wiring for the under glow and rock lights. But hopefully I can put some more lights on this. Make it look even cooler and brighter. So let me, it's a lot of stuff. I'm gonna open this up and lay it out so you guys can see it. Okay. So these are the brackets with the screws and then this is the outer edge I was telling you guys about. So I'll go something like this and should line up something like this. I think it'll look pretty cool, make it more aggressive. And um, yeah. Uh, let me open that up, see if I can bolt this on already. These are the brackets that will go under. I know there's some cutting involved in the bottom, but that's not an issue. And uh, let's hook it up. To start with the brackets, they say that you had to remove the, uh, the splash shield. Um, I know I completely removed it since I have my uh, underglow hooked up to the actual splash guard holding it in place. But it does have four... 10 millimeter screws 10 millimeter yeah 10 millimeter that comes out after you take them off i'm just gonna literally pry this out yeah i'm gonna pry this out to be able to hook up these brackets once i hook it up i'll show you the brackets and what size they are um okay so if you're able to take this off <laughs> look at that my sweat i was holding my head on there just to hold it out because again i can't take it out because i have my underglow right under it attached to the end of this but if you can take this out it'll help you tremendously you also have to this is telling you everything but you kind of doesn't really tell you everything you know you gotta take out that piece which is right above here it has two clips that comes off and those sides cover up the bumper support the reinforcement board so that's technically what you bolt up to you take out those two 13 uh, it's 12 millimeters or 13 i believe um you take them off you put the brace which is looks like this and you use the same bolts again to mount it up uh, where is it and then it should look something like this. 
you're gonna have to cut right here slit for this um i'll do that after i put on the other side but basically it's the same thing find that bracket see the bracket there the two bolts and line up the other bracket there okay i have both of the brackets on already um the same thing i did this way i did it that way um now it's telling me how to get this have a second person hold it up while i bolt it on i don't have a second person so i'm just gonna do it by myself and uh i'll show you guys after i'm done what i did all right seriously if you can have somebody help you that will work out really good um i'm pretty good at doing all these installs but boy it's kicking my butt okay once you put the grill the fender whatever this thing is called um put the bolts the three bolts on that side three bolts on that side this way so it looks like this make sure you put the washers um it says to put them this way i'm guessing to be able to take them off if you need to um don't tighten them yet um after that you're gonna come here there should be two bolts here in front of the 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 bumper uh usually the license plate bracket is there um i just had the two bolts which are these i'll paint it up um but then you're gonna come here you get the bracket um so the short side you're gonna bring it over here you see how it bolts up here that's a short side the long side you're gonna put it up here before you do that you gotta put these little rubber not rubber they're metal actually uh i guess a, a spacer in between and then a they supply you a new bolt that's long enough to go through this into this into there so let's put that on now all right once you put the license plate bracket the way i explained it there's gonna be these two little screws you're gonna put under here that's support for the bracket onto the push bar all right so after you bolt this up you're gonna get a knife some type of knife i actually broke one of mine's already i had this one but it's too flimsy so I have one of these and you're gonna trace out where the bracket is over the splash guard. That way you can let it sit flush so you can be able to mount the holes, but have enough space for the bracket to go. As a reference from the clip, a little bit to the left and then enough all the way back that, you know, it has space for it to sit flush and then you just go bolt up the four bolts in the front the 10 millimeters i believe it was and you're good from the bottom side okay so that center is on and it's, it's stiff as heck so after you bolt up the bottom you tighten these bolts right here the three on each side um they're 18 millimeter so i use my little my little socket wrench over there and I tighten it, so that's good. Now, you can rock it like this, but the cool part about this specific bumper, you're able to attach the sides right here, which I am gonna do. I really wanted this. Uh, it looks good at that right now, but I think I specifically want it with those little fins on the side. I don't know, just cause I want it. Um, so again, you can rock it like this, or you could add those fins, which I am. And uh, from what it looks like, it's just gonna be the bolts through here and it should be done. All right, so after you put those bolts, I believe they were a, where is it, right here. These were a 13. So these are 13 bolts, I used that with that to hold the bolt in place and screwed it on it's on there and look how flush it is no it's not hitting it so i really like how snug and clean it looks 
once everything's bolted on i just made sure i'm literally moving the whole van so it's on there it's gonna bang something if it moves it <laughs> but uh yeah it's on again this is optional i like it it's extra you know protection my favorite part is it does have mounting holes i could put you know maybe two more pods right there and then also stinking they still look a little bracket that you could wrap around here i could probably put an led small led bar right under it like that so it'll look pretty cool i don't know yet you know i might just leave it like that it's how we have too many lights but um yeah the bumper looks a little shinier i just resprayed it um since uh i did try to do a rhino rhino line last time and it all looks like that so i've been uh spraying it little by little i was gonna focus on the front end today so i got that done overall it looks freaking amazing i i love it and it literally is a quarter of the price of another front bumper metal front bumper that um uh, that are for available for the transit and uh actually i just noticed i could put a hint a winch winch there maybe maybe not I, I don't know just you could do a lot of stuff with it now um very helpful um and it just cleans completes the look that i'm going for um the more aggressive look all right guys once again guys thank you for all the support I really appreciate not just, you know, the transit people, uh, the Lexus group, the Camry crew, um, all my social media platforms, uh, Facebook, whoa, a lot of rain. Uh, Facebook, Instagram, uh, all you guys, um, thank you for the support. You know, a lot of you guys, I wouldn't have been able to do none of this stuff to the van. Um, I wouldn't have the Lexus out there um i enjoy doing this these videos helping customizing people's cars so it's all thanks to you guys i apologize if the videos have been a little jumpy a lot of go a lot of stuff going on um i do have the installation of those lights up there that i'm gonna put up also those pod lights um and then the the wiring module the that thing the switchboard that's what you call it the installation of that and um that i'm gonna be posting up soon most likely after these videos um i do also have videos of the new car wash van that's gonna be up also again thank you guys for all the support um i have a lot of more videos coming I'm still missing the rock lights that I'm going to put on this. I have underglow already, so it looks pretty cool. I believe I posted that one already. It's just so much, I can't remember. Anyways, thank you guys. Hope to catch you on the next video.